Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you some gameplay of Heavy Rain running on my PC that has Ryzen 3700X processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Now this is its demo, you can download it for free from Steam Store. Heavy Rain is made by Quantic Dreams, it's the same developer who made the game Detroit Become Human. Now our choices affect the game story. I played this game around 9 to 10 years ago. As far as I remember, this game has around 3 to 4 endings. Let me just show you my graphic settings. Resolution set to full HD. And everything has been maxed out. So let's just start our game. This game is like watching a movie. We will be interacting with a lot of elements in our environment. We just need to press these key prompts. We need to perform certain actions quickly. So now we are playing as a private detective Scott Shelby. Scott is investigating a series of murders caused by the mysterious origami killer. A street beggar. This game was a PS3 exclusive for a very long time. These are the thoughts of my character. Scott has asthma. Goddamn asthma. Can't breathe when it rains. The FPS is capped at 60. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Money talks. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left, at the end of the corridor. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. 
The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? What do you want to know? I tried being compassionate. Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. Tell me about Johnny's father. A loser without a job who liked to beat me after a few drinks. He left the day Johnny disappeared. I ain't seen him since. Coward. Good thing he left. You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. Did you suspect anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that to my Johnny and all those other kids. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. I leave my card. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. It's his asthma attack. We need to be quick with these key prompts. Otherwise our characters can even end up dying. Lauren! Lauren, open up, baby! It's me! What are you doing? Sorry, Del, but I really wanted to see ya. A shady character. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. You a 
again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh! I missed that key, bro. Again, asshole. <laughs> we got beaten up but did not die. Are you alright? <sighs> Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. In this game we play as different characters, now moving on to the other character. His hand is shaking. Crime scene. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Nam and Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. can literally scan the area. Seems to be a clue. Unrelated to the investigation. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake.
Yes, Blake. Thanks. Harry comment, sample of no interest, comes to one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Hey! You there! What are you doing? Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Any witnesses? None yet. Yeah, given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned. Like the others. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit-stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Do you have any leads? My men are going over to see him with a fine-tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind, we'll find it. Listen, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Well, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Yeah, I'll scan the area. Let's see if we can find anything. The crime scene is compromised by all these people. I doubt there'd be many clues left. If there were any to start with. Harry Cameron, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. What's this? Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Let's follow this trail. Airy comment. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Harry comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. 
The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. That was the orchid trail. We are done here. It's a dead cat. A dead cat. The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Not yet. Killer must have carried the body here. Gotta be tracks around here somewhere. Orchid pollen, something the killer couldn't control. Can it be traced back to its source? Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. Impressive. Seems the only traces the killer left are those he intended to leave. He knew exactly what he was doing. Right down to the tiniest detail. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. I'm heading back to the office. You stay in. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. Harry Common. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. We found the blood and foot marks. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. So I could have left the place but I decided to investigate this area.
finding more clues is going to make the investigation easier for us there's a good chance that they're the killers tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. But maybe the killer's car. We have seen all there is to see. So the killer might have escaped from here. Not happy with that. So we have collected all of the clues, now we can leave the area. Uh, I think I've seen enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. You can try out the demo yourself. It's available on Steam and it's free. So guys, I like the gameplay video here. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.